Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Dark Leviathans coming back to you with another guide. This guide is going to be telling you how to do Chef. Chef is a crafting profession inside Guild Wars and as you can see I'm a Master Chef 400 out of 400. Um, in my previous video I showed you how I was making gold, reselling items such as carrot, potato, cabbage, the other ingredients, you know, anything that you can actually forest and farm and harvest in lower levels. So with me doing that, I was able to make enough gold to buy the necessary um, ingredients for each tier of the recipes that I had to craft in order to get from 1 to 400. Now, if you save up enough money, and I kid you not, it's probably only 20 gold, if not somewhere around there, especially if you do a lot of auction house flipping like I was doing in my previous video, sometimes you have a lot of the mats already saved up. And once you get all these ingredients that I'm going to be putting inside the description, a link to a guide. Now, this guide I'm linking, I didn't personally write. The credit goes to the person who did the guide. I'm just going to show you some key points inside this guide for especially like the char, but I'm going to show you what kind of vendor you need to go to, where to find some of these items, because even though it says go to this you know, cooking NPC, you know, some things are still not fully describe, defined, and some people might have find this difficult, so I decided to make a video showing you how to do this, and be honest with you, it's very, very, very simple. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the key points over here in the Black Citadel, if you are a char or visiting over in this area. Right up here in the top-hand corner in the Santon Factorium is the Chef Cooking Station. Right here is the Master Chef, which actually is the merchant. If you go ahead and click on I need the cooking supplies, here is when you're going to get majority of the supplies that are listed on the guide from NPC. Now something I realized is there is the portion that you need is here, but in order for to get the ones that are from Karma is actually the next page. And this is where you're going to get the yeast and the buttermilk and the cheese wedges that are also listed in there because you won't find them on the auction, on sorry, not auction house, on the black market. You're not going to find it anywhere other than from a cooking vendor under the Karma and it says the item in bulk. Now when you buy them in bulk, it's going to give you a stack of 25, so do not buy 25 bulk. Otherwise, you're going to waste a bunch of Karma. Now for those of you that have not done crafting before, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your your um, station, whether it's leatherworking, tailoring, cooking, so on and so forth. You're going to go over to the station. You're going to go ahead and open up the station. And here is going to be a list of recipes. Now at the very beginning, of course, you're not going to have a lot. And in all honesty, I don't have a lot either because I still have some to discover and or get from recipe pages. But the thing I wanted to point out was this discovery tab. Under the guide that I will be posting in the description, it says you need to discover a particular item. And it's uh, going to say, you know, put in such item, such item, such item, such item. Basically, you're going to put those items in these squares right here. And then it's going to pop up down here, then to say that you have found one item or one recipe. And it's going to tell you that go ahead and hit craft and it's going to come up and give you like a big giant um, reward screen kind of deal saying this is what you just achieved by making by combining these ingredients okay so now that the, we talked about how to get the basic ingredients something that was mentioned in the guide is you should be trying to buy the ingredients at the cheaper price as like I shown inside my last video how I and buy and resell items that way you can save some money in the long run on your ingredients for this crafting and something I wanted to point out was as you're doing this crafting you are also gaining experience and quite a bit at that and as you're doing it you should take full advantage of it especially if you have any laurels this will be the laurel vendor out in the Black Citadel it's actually just west of the cooking station and under the first tab, if you were to scroll on down, you got right here an experience booster. And it says grants the following benefits for 30 minutes. And it says 50% experience in all game types. This includes crafting. And for only one laurel each for 30 minutes, 
30 minutes alone, especially if you have all the ingredients lo located in the guide, it is just substantial. I gained at least 10 levels when I did it, and it's definitely something you don't want to skip out on if you have the capability of buying an experience booster. Anyways, that would conclude my short and quick guide on things that should be pointed out for the leveling cooking from 1 to 400. I hope that this was helpful for players that were trying to figure out a couple things. If anything, helping out players that are trying to level cooking and do not like to read up guides all the way through. This guide that I'll give you, you can just follow the ingredients and do what I said in this video and it should help you out. Alrighty guys, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. I also wanted to ask if you have any kind of ideas or comments or concerns about how I'm making these videos, please don't hesitate to comment or message me. Just let me know. I want to be able to bring you guides with the most information that I could possibly obtain and I want to be as efficient as possible. If you did like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And on top of that, if you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. And I will be bringing more videos as I continue my own progress in Guild Wars 2. This is Dark Leviathans. Have a good one.